The young men at the Wagner's Youth Facility at the Belize Central Prison are given hope, hope that life behind bars is not the end. Life does not stop with you coming to prison. And um, really, you can leave prison a better person than you came in. It is all up to you. The challenge to embrace positive change and accept moving forward past the mistakes and bad choices was taken up by seven of the young men. These youth, through the kind sponsorship of the Community Rehab Department, enrolled in a Kaina online high school, an accredited educational platform with the goal to attain a certified diploma. It offers them a realistic approach of furthering their education while they're incarcerated. It's a typical high school curriculum, you know, and they offer subjects such as math, English, literature, social studies, Spanish, religion, IT, uh, the regular uh, high school curriculum. On Sunday, two of the students probably walked up to receive their high school diploma, an achievement they thought would have never been accomplished after they stepped through the prison gates. Because they became inmates as minors, their identity will not be disclosed. One of the graduates, who has been on remand for the past four years, spoke of his experience. Amazing experience to me, because first, first time I came to prison, I feel like my life is done, you know, like, I know I'm in there for a while, so I was taken out of school, so I never may think I'm have a next chance to get back. Well, when I'm just come, I'm gonna lose hope. But it'll take me a matter of time to realize that you're down, but you're not out, you know. I'll get back up, get on my feet, surround myself with positive people, and continue. The second graduate is felon and is serving a remaining three years of a sentence. He too thought that Sunday's accomplishments was beyond his grasp. It feel, feel very great. It ha I had a nice time in the kind of online high school. I, I've been pushing and pushing. And thanks to Mr. Jack, the person who coordinated the aid program, he helped me a lot through it. I understand a lot too. And it's very nice. Was it difficult? Um, kind of. It, it, it's difficult because some, you can't say it's just easier so because you got your times when difficulty happens. And you got so subjects that do get to your head. When I graduated, I felt very proud and with Mr. Dawson here and my family, I was very happy that you know what, I could be someone in life. You don't have to be here. For the graduates, it is much more just about words and numbers. Their journey was backed up by a support system which aimed to instill confidence and determination in the young men as they move forward with their lives. All of them been there pushing me and how, how this experience gone. I know that they are really love. They're like, we thought as they, they show we better that all of we could make a difference. When I begin to focus on myself and change me, I begin to realize that they have a lot of people love me and care for me, and they're there for me, push out their hand, help me, and I don't take that for granted, you know. I take advantage of every situation where come good in my hands, and I decide I don't really want to give no trouble and focus more upon when I come out, what I want to do afterwards. One of the main reasons that he's had this change is because of the, the growth structures and the disciplines that they are taught in the Colby Foundation. But also the beautiful part of it is, is that because he has had the change, he, he actually opened a door for this information, this understanding to come to the other young men at large. And bit by bit, we're seeing a wonderful transformation take place in their lives as well. And now these young men have high hopes to grow into mature and productive adults upon their return to society. When a man comes to prison, it's not the end of his life, you know. He still has dreams and, and goals. My dream and aspiration for the future, you know. Maybe in the future I want to be a pilot or something, you know. When I do come out, I try to look for a scholarship and go straight to six Farm, look for God, John Skettley in and go on with my life, but I want to make a better for Belize though. Uh, that my goal. Never look down upon yourself because society might look down upon people you know, being in prison accused of a serious crime. People are quick to judge and they're not really sure 
they don't know your background, you know. But my advice to them is just keep your head up, continue to be you, and focus on yourself more than, you know, live for who love you, not for who don't care about you, you know. On Sunday when I graduated, being with my family and everyone, the amount of love I feel was truly amazing, you know. And I'm mean, quite on a journey, but I still try because you're not done yet. Remember what Nelson Mandela says, prison itself is a tremendous education and a need for patience and perseverance. It is above all though, a test of one's commitment, and that commitment really is to change. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.